Hello you guys! Welcome back to the One in a Million YouTube channel. My name is Eunice and oh my gosh, I have prepared a juicy conversation for you guys today that I know you're gonna love. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys because at first I, I've i had this video idea for a very long time. And one of the reasons why I was procrastinating on creating this video was because for the longest time, this has been like my secret weapon. <laughs> like, is like a secret tool that I have that I don't really want to tell people about. And it's like, I just want to keep the best thing to myself. So it's one of those things where I know something has worked very, very well for me. And I felt, <sighs> for the lack of a better word, like selfish. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized if I were to really invest in, in growing the people and like really helping my audience achieve like a better life and really help you achieve alignment, then I have to be first aligned myself and that didn't feel very aligned for me. So I decided that I really want to share this with you. I really hope that whatever you take out of this video, it is going to help you. It is going to help with your meditative experiences. Um, and ultimately help you on your journey to deepen the relationship with yourself, uh, whether or not if you are a regular meditator, whether or not if you are interested in meditation or you're just like, you know, just browsing at what new apps are out, what interesting apps are out there, it doesn't matter. I want to share the best of the best with you and this is the reason why I've decided to finally do the video and share this thing in my back pocket. So make sure to subscribe if you want more of this future content. So let's dive in. What exactly is Luminate and what makes it so fascinating? In my very limited understanding, uh, it is a tech assisted psychedelic experience and it is an app that can be downloaded onto your phone with the strobe light activated it mimics the brain wave that otherwise would happen in a very deep trance like meditation when you've been in a meditation for a very long time it creates the perfect brain state for subconscious exploration they call this method sensory entrainment Simply put, and this is coming from their website, sensory entrainment is when a sudden sensory input, like a flashlight, causes neurons in the brain to react and fire in response. When the flashing is repeated at a given frequency, the neurons adjust their natural rhythm to synchronize with that of the input. By softly influencing these rhythms, it is possible to safely guide the brain into a desired state in such a way that once the flashing is removed, the brain almost instantly returns to its normal patterns, halting any effects. So this, this is interesting because it claims that it can help you achieve those deep meditative states without having to have it done for so long or without being a super experienced meditator. And you could literally just get into that state on command. It's like you can snap in and out of that state anytime you want, which is amazing. For me personally, after having done meditation for so many years now, I think one of the hardest things was like having to sit through all that time to sit through all those hours of just letting go of your thoughts and observing your thoughts and like waiting all that time to get to that heightened state of your consciousness. I think that's like the hardest part for me. And also just, you know, the lack of my patience, um, you know, for some people it could be like a lack of experience. I have to say, even having done it for so long, those heightened altered states of mind is not really that predictable. It doesn't happen for me all the time. That's actually one of the things that got me curious enough to try this app or even like look for it in the first place because I didn't know that this technology was available, but I was looking for something that could induce my mind to get into a deeper state. So I, I was looking anything from like um, music, like what are those called? Like binaural beats, hypnosis, 
um, anything that could like alter your brain state, I was willing to try anything. And at the moment when I was scrolling through my phone, I saw this Luminate app and it promises to, you know, help you get to that brain state without having to put any effort, without having to have any experience that can do it for you instantly. And it's like, they'll do all the heavy lifting for me. So I'm like, oh yeah, of course, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna tell you guys the real reason why I decided to try this app it was because I got to this place of my meditations where I knew I was getting so deep like I was getting so deep I was really getting to like the center of myself um, you know I was resolving issues in my life and it, like all of, all the problems started like falling apart and everything was like starting to dissolve in my life and I started like my identity started to change I started to like really like my real self started to take shape but I felt like there was something more there's something more on a deeper level on a spiritual level but I didn't know what it was I didn't know how to find it I didn't know where to find it I didn't know how to get it I didn't know what to seek inside of myself it's almost like I don't know what was missing and I didn't know how to get there and I didn't even know the questions to ask and I didn't know who to ask. So it was like that weird in-between space where I knew that I needed to turn my focus to something else and I knew that there was a tool that was going to help me or something that I needed to learn or look for or search or feel or experience but I just didn't know what it was but something just like kept prompting me to like keep looking keep looking keep looking and then I found this just completely by chance and I remember at the time where I found it it was like sometime last year there like I remember seeing it on Google Play because I use Android and um, there weren't even that many reviews but the re reviews were mind-blowing and I was like well there's something there's something here this is interesting i'm gonna check it out and that's how i landed on the app <laughs> just a word of warning this app is not suitable for those of you who have photosensitive epilepsy or juvenile myoclonic epilepsy or you have direct family who have the history of experiencing either one of those I think before I tried the app for the first time, I definitely had a lot of like heightened expectations because of all the testimonials that I read and like crazy insights, crazy experiences that people were experiencing online and the testimonials. I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to crazy. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I'm so nervous. Like I just didn't know like what to expect. I think that's one of the things that I was most nervous about was like, I don't know if it's going to open me into the unknown. I think that was the part where I felt the most nervous or anxious. I was really happy to find out and I feel really, really reassured. Like for those of you creators who designed the Luminate app out there, like good on you guys because I can't explain to you how nervous I felt before trying it the first time. The moment you open the app, you're going to be brought to a discovered Luminate feature. That is the first thing that you are going to try and it literally is a five minute experience. It's like a super short condensed experience. It's like kind of having a first exposure. It's like having a little sample of what a Luminate experience is about. And so within the time frame of these five minutes, you get Get to have your very first experience of what it feel like to meditate with my eyes closed with the, the strobe light flashing in front of me it made me feel so much better i'm like so relieved that there was there was like an introductory experience just for newcomers it's like oh welcome to welcome to our app like this is what you can expect you know i feel like a lot a lot more settled and at the same time there was also voice guidance that like took me through the entire process just told me what to expect um how to experience this how to use this and just like you know how to let go how to relax and so like that made me feel really good as a first exposure and experience now i want to show you my favorite feature of the app and like how i liked like how i like to use it for myself
So because personalization is very, very important for me, um, I like to use my own soundtrack when it comes to using Luminate. And um, it really depends on my mood, depends on what I wanna feel. I will find like a soundtrack that I use for myself to help me like curate or help me like heighten those emotions that I want to experience. So what I do is I open the Luminate app and I choose the choose your own, select your own soundtrack meditation I usually set it to infinite amount of minutes because I, you know, depends on like how many minutes I want the soundtrack to be. Usually the, the soundtrack is a custom soundtrack, so it doesn't really fit within the 5, 10, or 20 minute time frame. So I just choose infinity. So then I switch over to Inside Timer and I start playing the soundtrack that I want to play. And then I go back to Illuminate and start the strobe experience. So I'm just about to start my second Luminate meditation experience for today. I'm doing 30 minute sessions and as you can see I have my um, phone stand slash light ring. Well I'm not going to be using the light ring but I'm going to be using the phone stand. Um, this one stretches to the ground but I suggest that if you don't have one that stands on the ground um, you can use like a desktop one or you could use like a clip-on phone holder. Um, that clips onto any surface. So right now I have chosen my own soundtrack and I'm choosing Intense. So I'm going to be coming back and sharing with you how I feel afterwards. Um, also using earphones for this experience. And uh, yeah, I'll see you around. <laughs> how I feel right now. I think my eyes are a little like so a little puffy from crying. <laughs> I definitely did not expect that. I was not expecting this level of depth and intensity. Um, it was not something that I've been thinking about. So for those of you who are like wondering, oh my gosh, like Eunice, why are you crying so hard? Like in the meditation, it's like, it, it's not like this every time. It's not. But it's just one of those like, like recommitting back to my purpose, back to my life's purpose. Um, I was, I was being reminded why I started this YouTube video, this YouTube channel in the first place. So yeah, if I look like I don't really have the words right now, it's because I'm just a little bit shook. Um, again, it's not like this every single time. I think. It has to do also with your choice of music. If you choose a soundtrack that evokes a lot of strong emotions, if you choose something that really inspires you, it tends to have that effect. The one that I chose today, it was like a shamanic drumming and it, it had that like inspirational factor. 
I, I can't, I can't explain it, but like, um, it's just one of those, you know, remember why you're here kind of meditations. So yeah, this is like the real time feedback. It definitely felt like a very long meditation. Like I know it was only for 30 minutes, but it felt like I was in it for two hours. I remember at one point I felt like there was someone holding my hand and I could identify that um, person as my mom, my biological mother. Um, I felt it really intensely on my right hand. It was, it was a really weird feeling. Um, but it felt so reassuring. It did not feel like, you know, anyone was bothering me. It felt like this is it. You know, what you're feeling is real. This is it. You're on the right track. It felt very like comforting and reassuring. That's the best way I could possibly put it. Honestly, there is no way to expect what you're going to experience in a session because it could be anything. So there are several issues that come with using the phone that some community members have mentioned. Some people say their phones have overheated or it's getting too warm when they're meditating. One of the things that I would suggest is if you have too many apps running at the same time, just try closing all of them except for Illuminate and the other the other soundtrack app that you're using so that you don't have too many apps running at the same time. The other issue that some of the community members experience is the hand getting too tired of holding the phone because you have to have the flashlight facing you in order for the app to work. What I do is I just like prop my phone in front of me with a phone stand um, or I have a light ring, which uh, you know, that that works as well. I just prop my phone up with the flashlight facing towards me what you can also do if you do not have a phone stand is prop your phone up on a table against the wall or against like something that is perpendicular to it so that you could just like rest your phone on the surface. You sit in front of the table and have the flashlight facing towards you so that you don't have to like, you don't have to like hold the phone in front of your face while you're meditating because I, I imagine that must be super tiring and really, really distracting. Now, a lot of people ask, how far do you have to have it from your face? I would say ideally like five to 10 centimeters or like 15 at most. You want the light to be close enough to your face for you to like experience the light like all around here, essentially. I would also say that the brighter the room is, the closer you want the phone to your face. The reason for that is if your room is not dark enough, then the light around you is going to really remove the, the effects and the impact of the app itself. And so it's not going to do as much for you as opposed to you being in a darker room and the phone flashlight being the only thing that is bright. Don't worry too much if it's not pitch black. Um, you could just like draw the curtains. You could do it in the afternoon. You could put your head under the blanket. Um, but honestly, I would say like try to find the most comfortable like position because you don't want to be like suffocating and like sweating under the blanket either. That's not very comfortable. So I would say if the room is not too dark, just like put the phone closer to your face so you could still have like a similar experience. So actually I don't use this app every single day. I use it probably like a few times a week. Um, and the days where I use it, I sometimes use it multiple times a day. Talking about like maybe seven to 10 times a week. And I would say anywhere between like five to 30 minutes like time frame of use. The reason for that is because as with many things in my life, I tend to get bored from using it too many times or too frequently. Um, so I do personally like a lot of variety. And also I've heard a lot of people who have been using the Luminate app who mentioned that there is a build up towards you know, like a, like a more heightened experience as they get used to using the app. And then it comes to a point where it like kind of peaks where it's like a super mind blowing experience or seeing visuals, it's super psychedelic. You know, it's like they, they have these like insane experiences in their meditation or huge realizations, huge downloads and insights, right? It kind of like peaks at a certain point um, because they're using it at a level of frequency, like a few times a day probably. And then over time, it kind of like plateaus. 
I don't know if it's because the brain is already used to having that level of expectation. I personally like to feel a bit more refreshed with the apps and things and tools that I like to use. So I just tend to use it whenever I feel like it. I do switch between silent meditation, music meditation, and also uh, Luminate app between the three so that I keep things fresh for myself, you know? When you hear me referring to the depth that I experience in these meditations, I'm talking about um, the visuals that I see that uh, are super vivid and imagery that are like really clear, um, colors that are really vibrant for me, and also I feel a sense of heightened emotion. Let's say you do a regular meditation, you feel some kind of emotions come up, but when it comes to doing a Luminate session for myself, I feel those same emotions, but it comes a lot more strong. So it's easier for me to determine what that emotion is, what it is associated to, um, where it's coming from, what is telling me about myself, and it is just like really heightened so that there's no ignoring that emotion. There's no like gray area. It's like I know exactly what it is. So that's what I mean by depth. It's almost like everything's kind of the same as a regular meditation experience, except the colors are brighter. Um, and the intensity is a lot stronger. So I think for people who are like new to it, who are trying it for the first time, it's like, why, you know? Like there's so much to experience, so much like sensory stuff and emotion stuff come up. But after you've tried it for a couple of times, it kind of settles down into your system. So yeah, that is my review of the app. I am a huge fan, if you can't already tell. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video, so it's like, ah, uh, <laughs> I'm doing this for free, free advertising. Uh, but honestly, like I care so much about you guys and I know that this has helped me so much. Like it, it has given me the kind of meditation experiences where it, it would have only been possible if I was on an actual psychedelic trip but I don't have to be. Um, so it's like, yes, I get to get high. I get to, you know, like have that like super out there experience without having to use drugs, without the calm down. So thank you so much for being here. This was a lot of fun creating this video for you guys. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content so that you can receive more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. So that's it. Take care.